So hi guys, welcome again to my channel. Today we have a request video on the physics channel to solve. So if you are new to this channel, you can consider subscribing to most the academy channels and uh, study the concept that is if you need to. And if you are only based on knowing how to solve questions, you can watch the request video and the exam solution questions. Now, the question before us here is on the concept of reflection of light. As you can see, the question says that the figure shows uh, a mirror a mirror M on which a light ray is incident at an angle 40 from the normal. So incident ray is what? 40 degree from normal. If the ray is rotated by 10 degree in the clockwise direction. So the question says to find the change in angle of division of light after deflection. So that means the ray of light is going to be deviated. We know. So the first thing we can talk about is the angle of incident. I can just write this for every one of us to get. We say solution first. Now, initially, the ray of light was incident is going to be reflected. Uh, we know that angle of incident is equal to angle of refraction from junior classes. So let's draw, draw, draw that out. And if we do that where this is going to give us nothing but uh, 40 at that side. That's incident angle is the same thing as reflected angle. So this is also 40 degree. So now let's just try to get the deviation. Now, also in junior classes, you have studied that uh, angle of incident. Angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. And similarly, you have also studied from junior classes that uh, the deviation angle is always given to be 180 minus the angle of incident. So we can say the first deviation angle before rotation, deviation angle is given as 180 minus 2. Concepts are available on this channel. You can search for it under reflection through plane and curved surfaces. So going forward, we can see from here that uh, it is equals to 180. We are taking away two times incident angle from question is 40. 240 is at 80. So initial angle of deviation is uh, 180 minus 80 is 100 degrees. So I think that one is direct and that is cheap and quick, right? Now, we know that when rotation occurs in mirror, it can occur in two ways. That is very, very much common in junior classes. So if this happens, the deviation angle will also shift. So that is why we are told to look for the change in the deviation angle before rotation and what after rotation. That is initially and finally. So as I've said here, this is reflected ray. Call it R R. So let's show the angle of our deviation that uh, we first calculated here. Then doing that, we can say this is the angle of deviation initially, which we just did now, when the mirror was rotated. Before the mirror was rotated, we now calculate that one to be equals to 100 degrees. Now, good. Now, mirror was rotated at 10 degrees, as given in the question here. You guys can see that. Yeah, very good. Now, it was rotated by 10 degrees clockwise. So let's get the new angle between incident ray and the what? Refracted ray, or reflected ray. So how do we do that? Let's show the position of the angle for understanding sake. It's rather for some of us that we are not that uh, familiar with this topic. So when ray of light is incident, it was incident, it was rotated in the direction of clockwise, then I'm showing this now, please watch. So this is it. There are formula that you can just use directly, but for you to get it well, that is why I'm doing this. So rotation was clockwise. So because it is clockwise by 10, so what we do is just, we are showing that. So now it is moving clockwise direction. That is clockwise, then it was by 10. So if it is 10 degree clockwise, so the total angle is 40. 40 minus 10 is uh, 30. So this guy will be 30. The same thing occurs to the refracted ray, reflected ray. So also rotated by 10, was we also follow the same to look at this, this is it. So if it is rotated by 10, in the direction of clockwise as well, the angle remaining from here will also be 30 degrees. So what am I saying here, students? What I'm saying right now is that the new angle between the incident ray and the refracted ray is nothing but what's 30 plus 30. So now that means the final deviation, deviation two after after what after rotation. I'll just write it there after rotation with also the same formula 180 minus 200 
So the angle now that is now between the two now is now 30, 30. So that's 180 minus 2 times 30. I hope students are getting this. 180 minus 60 is nothing but 820. So this is 820 degrees. And this is a, so this is the final deviation. And this is the initial deviation of what we have. So guys, that is just the basic thing you need to understand here. Well, basically, you can even solve it without even drawing diagrams. The division angle is 180 minus 2 times the angle of incidence. Then when inside when mirror is rotated clockwise, you can get the new angle between incidence and refracted day. Some of you have been taught in junior classes. You know what I mean. It is 2i minus 2 theta. If you want to go by formula, when mirror is rotated, the new angle between the angle between incidence and uh, reflected ray is given as a, you have 2i minus 2 theta, where theta is angle of rotation. We are the type that log direct formula. So this is 2 times 2 into bracket 40 minus 10. Your substitute rotation is 10. Everybody knows this is what 60 degrees. So if you now want to get the division angle, it should now be that's 180 minus 60. So which is the same thing as what we have just shown here from what diagram. But it is also always good to know the concept and just to confirm it. And that is the essence of opening this kind of channel for you guys to see. So by now the question now says the change in angle of division. So we are subtracting d final minus d initial. So direct answer directly, the answer there for change in the division angle. So we can say division angle, change in the division angle of final. Will be final deviation 120 degrees minus 100 degrees, which gives us nothing but 20 degrees, which will be the question answer to this question. So, what I'm doing here is that you can do it directly, just the 180 minus 2i, then when it is rotated, 2i minus 2 theta, 180 minus that particular angle, subtract the final answer. It's a simple question. So, guys, uh, this is where I'm going to be stopping here. If you find this video interesting, you can consider subscribing to this channel and share the content with other friends of yours. I'll see you soon in future videos. You have a wonderful time. Bye bye.